this is a song that we're going to play, it's called Ban Naya. And actually this song is to uh, pay homage to our elders in our society. Because okay. they are those people who have sacrificed for us, shown us the way, educated us, been there for us. Okay. So making sure that we live our lives to always remember those who have been before and sacrificed for us to be here today. Okay. Also, um, before I go, actually, yeah, on this side, I didn't do it earlier, so I'm doing it now. Is yeah, making my marketing strategies, you know, because last time I left, you know, I forgot. So I do have CDs around there. I'm putting the right things in, yeah. Um, so, thank you. <laughs> so, but what is important is um, I mentioned to you very briefly that my uh, work is in education, um, but I just want to take a moment just to explain not just education because I know. There are actually many beautiful people here in Shaw who are also in education. But my father's gender specifically is in Africa. I'm starting in the Gambia, which is where I'm from. But um, I have an academy over there called the Gambia Academy. And that academy is first of a kind in the country. And whilst I'm proud to say that, I'm also not proud at the same time, because actually this is something I wish had been done decades ago. We are past our you know, 50 years of independence, but we still have to have these conversations still now. So that's a disappointment for me. But uh, education in Africa is still very much a system which is carrying on that legacy of colonialism. Mm -hmm. And although we have many schools open and people putting so much effort into bringing you know, better education to the country and to other countries, there still has not been enough focus and attention paid to the education of what it is that we're teaching our children in our schools. Now, I might expect, you know, I spend a lot of time in Europe. Uh, you know, I might expect that there's a lack of information regarding people's history, African history, African cultures, traditions, and so on. However, I shouldn't expect that inside the continent. When I go to Africa, I expect every child to learn that first before they learn about other people's history. So, this is the first institution in the country that I've pumped in so much of my resources is why I work so hard to make sure that I can set up an education system that brings the culture, the languages, the tradition, the identity and pride of Africans to the center of the education every day. That is my goal in my life. And so for this reason, what I'm doing very much around the world is bringing attention to the need for that. What has surprised me is speaking to what is actually even in America, a lot of people that tell me it's not only your problem. So that's also inspiring me as well, thinking I'm not alone. But this system that I'm introducing is the first that will be able to be replicable, put into schools, not just in the Gambia, but outside of the Gambia. And this is what I've been working on for the past seven years with my academy, which I founded in 2015. If I have my students here today, I would be able to talk to you. You will see what I'm talking about in terms of demonstrating what the next generation of Africans can do if you teach them the right things, give them that goal to work towards. I tell people if we have to have people to come to our schools to give empowerment speeches to Africans about how they must be proud of themselves, how they must love themselves, I know something's wrong. Something's fundamentally wrong, right? I've spent a lot of time in the UK. No one comes to British schools and tells people to be proud of being British. No one. That's because the education system teaches them that within. And that is what I want to see in Africa. The same education system that keeps them in the country, developing our countries, being proud and utilizing the resources that they have because they have everything they need in their own continent. So this is what I dedicate my life to. On the last note, because that three minutes is running up very fast, on the last note, this is something I run myself. Governments have been, and I'm not afraid to say this, governments have been ridiculously slow to pick up on this. Ridiculously in a way, because I feel that the governments themselves are the product of the education system that is failing our people. Mm -hmm. stage and tell these people things they don't even know. Those people have to hide their heads. And this is what I'm trying to prove. So for that reason, I haven't waited for any support. I don't wait for people. I don't have 10 years to build this school. I'm doing it every single day with everything that I need. So I want to give you a big thank you because I know so many people around the world have supported me by buying my music, by coming to my shows, 
This is what keeps my students in school. Not one single student paid one single cent in your currency to be in that school. And this is what they need. And what is their right? It's their right to be educated, their right to be proud of their education. So I'm saying this because this is how I actually continue doing my work and what drives me to keep touring and drag myself to the ground. <laughs> I didn't sleep, <laughs> but no, it's beautiful and I love sharing it with people. So, but this is my message and this is what I want to share with you big here tonight. This is what I need to make when I walk away from it. So thank you. My people are here no more. Okay, thank you, my friends and sisters. So this last song is for Banaya. It's Banaya and I hope that I get a chance to come and share with you again in the future. Thank you so much. Thank you.